Hello everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hannah, I am Simple Vintage Dreamer, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite bullet journal spreads for students. I kept these spreads very simple and minimal so that you can add on with your creativity if you want to spice them up a bit. I am also using Hogwarts and Harry Potter references for these spreads just to give some character to them and give you some examples of how they would look if you actually filled them out with your school information. Without further ado, let's get right into it. The first helpful spread for students I have is the teacher information log. I only included space for three boxes for my example spread, but if you had six or eight teachers, then you would need space for more. I start off with the teacher's name and the subject that they teach at the top of the box, and then inside of the box I included space for important information such as their email, room number, and office hours. Feel free to leave space for any other information such as their syllabus or anything else that you would need to know about your teachers. The next spread for students is a class schedule spread. At first, it kind of looks like a big grid, but I promise it's a lot easier to decipher than that and it's really helpful, especially for college kids. I created a 5x12 grid and on the left, I included the 12 hours of the day that you could potentially have classes, and on the top, I wrote each of the days of the week. I then had a key of different colors for each of my classes, and then proceeded to block off the certain hours when I would have said classes. It's a really good visual representation for college kids because your schedule is probably similar to the Hogwarts schedule where you have multiple classes in the same week. You could use this spread multiple times for each semester if you have different classes for each semester as well. I did it at random here, but it's just to give you an idea of how it would look completed. This next full page spread is the semester at a glance. You could do this for shorter periods of time, like if your school did every nine weeks, but this is just one of the examples of how you could do it. This spread is very similar to a normal bullet journal year at a glance spread, but instead of writing dates or birthdays, you would write important dates in your schoolwork. So end of term exams, big projects, or anything else really important that is happening in that semester. I use the 2021 calendar here, and also if your semester goes from January to June, let's say, then you should just include six columns versus four like I did here. I also chose to continue the color coding from the last spread, so pink is divination, yellow is defense against the dark arts, green is potions, and blue is transfiguration. I just made up some assignments and exam dates to again show you how the spread would look like if filled out correctly. In the bottom section, I also chose to separate it by the color coding or by each of the classes, but if you would prefer to section it off numerically versus by each of the classes, if that makes more sense for you, then go ahead and do that as well.
This next spread is a study log spread and it's really helpful when entering the exam season, so the March, April, May, and June season because it shows you at a glance exactly how much you study each of your subjects. I created a key at the bottom to include the color codings, but I also included amounts of time allotted to studying. So half of a circle or a semicircle represents 30 minutes of studying and a full circle represents an hour. And then you proceed to fill in either the half circle or circle for the amount of hours you studied that subject in that color. This study log is of a student that studies quite a lot, so don't feel bad if your study log isn't quite as colorful or as filled out as this, because studying six hours a day is probably not healthy on a school night. This leads us to our last and final spread, the sleep tracker. This spread is probably the most important out of all of the spreads for students because I feel like sometimes as students it's really easy to get caught up in studying and trying to be the top of our class that we forget that we are humans and sometimes we need to sleep and rest as well. I created a grid area with space for the hours of sleep at the top and at the left side both the days of the week as well as the numbers of the month. I wrote the days of the week as well as the days of the month so that I could correlate whether I slept less on Mondays or Tuesdays or whether I got enough sleep on the weekends. It's just kind of nice to be able to look at at the end after filling it all out to tell how much you slept and if you really do have an irregular sleeping pattern. Here is a flip through and a little last glance at how all of these spreads turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed this short and sweet and right to the point video, and I hope that some of these spreads might help you in your student journey in the future. Feel free to leave a comment down below with which spread you think was most helpful for you, as well as what kind of bullet journal spreads you would like to see in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed all of the cute little Harry Potter references in my schoolwork, and I hope some of these spreads were really helpful for you. Feel free to leave a like down below if you enjoyed it as well, and go ahead and subscribe if you would like to join our little family. As always, if you have any tips, recommendations, or requests, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I will do my very best to make some fun videos. Until the next, bye!